welcome, welcome everyone. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I'm having a pretty darn good one. So today, we're going to pick up where we left off last time and with our horrible, horrible fail, and we are going to learn everything we can about the beacon. Um, I had to learn about these things. I had no idea how to use these. <laughs> Matter of fact, when I played, like many of us, when we first started playing, they didn't have these things. So, yeah. So we're going to run over here real quick. Because we got to craft this thing up, and I actually forgot to bring a crafting table with me. And I got a single piece of granite we need to get rid of. But this is one of the reasons why we want the beacon, is so that we can clear out all of this insane amount of stone quicker. Because it's taking forever to do, and I expect it to take forever to do. Because, yeah, it's a lot of stone. <laughs> uh, let's see, where is this granite? There is granite. Right there. Okay, let's get that. Okay, so everything you're going to need to build a beacon from the smallest to the largest. You will need three obsidian, five glass, and a nether star. Now, you can also you will also be needing a block of something. Either a block of iron, a block of emerald, a block of gold, or a block of diamond. Um, I believe that is the full list. Uh, let's see. It's going over my brain. Iron, gold, emerald, and diamond, right? Yeah. Pretty sure that's it. Pretty sure that's the full. That's all you can use. And now, you can mix and match. You can use all in one. We're going to be using block of iron, which, matter of fact, I just realized I need to go get a whole lot more for the full build, which is fine. Uh, I got kind of carried away with getting everything ready to go. And what we're going to do is we're basically going to dig down to the center of our big section here and build this thing all the way down as far as we can pretty much to the bedrock the reason is is uh which one's up the reason is uh the it only goes so far underneath of it but there's going to be a beam that's coming out of the top of it and the beam is going to basically go all the way to the build ceiling so anything within sight of that beam, so many blocks out, I think it's like 50. Uh, I'd have to look at the wiki to tell you the exact number. It's a large number. Um, it will be affected by whatever stasis the beam is giving off. Um, in this case, we're going to be going after haste. Now to build the, build the full size of this thing, I believe, I might be wrong, I believe it takes three full blocks. If not four to do this we're going to go with three and i'm going to bring four just to be safe so many chickens up in here laying eggs for our next project <laughs> i got eggs being laid everywhere y'all <laughs> it's a little madness i can make the world's largest scramble egg in such a quick no problem piece of cake several hundred let's do this and uh so what we're basically going to be doing is there's a few things we got to do today one we got to build the thing two we're going to have to come up here and we're pretty much going to basically be building or digging straight down right here all the way down to the very bottom it is going to be scary i hope there's no lava in between we will hopefully find out uh do i have a bucket of water i do wanted to make sure we brought that with us all right so let's get back down here and we'll get to where we're going to build this thing at okay we're at the center of our build area right here so i'm going to destroy this and I'm going to be very careful, very carefully. All right, we've broken into the layer below, so that means we are at seven here. Okay, we don't want to lose our. Uh, matter of fact, you know what I'm going to do temporarily. Okay, so we've hit bedrock. So okay, we're going to need to come up. One from there, at least. Uh, yeah, I think this is this will do right here. So we'll go ahead and destroy those. We don't need to put these there after all. Okay, so to build the to build this, we're going to need to clear out a area here. And I'm having, I apologize, I've been having hardware issues. I think my mouse is going out, and that's why we're getting this jerky. Like, I don't know. I, I have no explanation for it. <laughs> I apologize. Uh, okay. So I need to clear this out. And basically, what we're going to be doing 
is we're going to be building a pyramid and to make this so that I don't have to worry about um, space let's see we're going to we're going to put one there and then we're going to build above that does that sound good y'all and we're going to need to go up four no we're going to need to go up four um slots and you'll understand why we're doing this here in just a minute to right there so that's basically one two three four all right, so this is going to be our actual size of our pyramid, our height. It will not go over this, but the, on top of it, we're actually going to need to be putting the beacon, which we didn't make again, uh, because, you know, I'm, I'm super organized all the ways and doing this for the first time together, and I get excited, and I want to do it, and yeah, y'all know how it is. Y'all know. I always forget something. Okay, so let's get up here so we can see this thing. Dude. Okay. So, from here, we're going to need... Uh, at least one, two, so one, two, three, one, uh, yeah, one, two, three, okay, and then one, two, three, and then go here. All right, so basically, we're going to need an area this big to build. The first one. Oh, I hear a zombie. Uh, yeah, now we need to clear this side, right? They must be down here with me. They spawn every down here ever so often. So we're gonna put one there, and one there, right? No, I totally built that bigger than we need to, but it's okay. You understand here in a minute. Let me go make our thing real quick. Okay, so to build this, we're gonna be taking three obsidian, putting them on the bottom. We're gonna be taking the glass. And put in there, and we're going to be putting the need to start in there. And that is going to give us the beacon. This cannot be undone, so this will be the end of that need to start. You will need another one if you want just a need to start. Ding! Now we have the beacon. Super excited. And <laughs> the fun part right now is finding where we came out at to go back to. Um, the the hole we dug because guess what i didn't mark where we were at and i have no idea where we were at other than looking for a silver pillar so i'm going to run down this way and hopefully uh, i think this is it right here hopefully we're going to find the right one oh, okay this might not be it this is might be it actually Right there is the silver pillar, right? Aha, man, I'm good. All right, so. Ah, zombie. To do this, to start in level, you're going to need. Ah! He's almost got me. He's almost got me. I'm stuck. Eh. Uh, Busy. Go away. Okay, okay. I need to get rid of this. It's getting on my nerves. I keep jumping into it. Okay, there we go. So, we're going to build from the center one. One. Uh, uh, that's three. We're making a three wide by three wide. So doot, doot, doot. Boop, boop, boop. Now, normally you'd build this from the bottom up, but I want to build this from the top down. In case you've got limited uh, resources, I want to show the easiest way to do this, which is you basically build four layers high, one, two, three, four. And then that way you can expand out. That way you know you got enough room underneath of it. And that's why we're doing it this way. So let's do this, y'all. I'm super excited. We're getting ready to get an achievement. Here it goes. Big moment. Bam. Uh, we didn't get an achievement. Do I have to access it first? I do know what I forgot to do, though. We need iron. Which means I need to go break up a block real quick. Why did it not give us an achievement? That's really weird. All right, so let's activate this bad boy. We're going to take one iron. Now you can put anything of these items in here. An emerald, a diamond, a gold bar, or an iron bar. Again, we're using iron because it's easy. we got tons of it. And uh, as you can see, this is not activated. Now, this is the base size. And the reason why it's not activated is if you look here, we got one, two, and then... Huh, wait, what? 
That's really weird. It should have activated, I think. Oh, I know why it's not activated. It can't see the sky. That's what we forgot. It's got to be able to see the sky. we got to dig down from the top up there all the way down to this thing. So, yeah, we've got to go all the way up. Now, if we'd have built this outside, it would have activated, but it has to be able to see the sky. So, basically, we need to go... Mm -hmm. Didn't I just dig a hole all the way down here? I'm uh, imagining things. I built it here, didn't I? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. So, we need to dig a hole all the way up to the very tippy top. This is going to be fun. All right, so here we are. We're at the very top of this now. If you want to find out how to do this, real quick, you just hit F3, and you go down to where it says X, Y, and Z on the left hand of the side, and that will be your coordinates right there. Oh, that's not something we want to dig next to. Uh, well, he could help dig, actually. Anyways, so basically, I want to mine straight down here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to be taking a... Actually, you know what? I just had a fantastic idea. Let's get a potion of fire resistance. Ha ha! And then we don't got to worry about lava at all. And we can still see. Matter of fact, I could even take a night vision potion. Wow, there's the potions and magic. It's just making everything so much easier today. Let's do this. Uh, I think I got both of them over here in the dump box today. Uh, potion of healing. Strength? No? Okay, maybe they're within the potion box. Or in the temporary potion box. Fire resistance? Water breathing? Night vision? Yeah. Alright, let's go do this. So basically, there's multiple ways to do this. One, you get a whole bunch of ladders. And you can dig straight up from the thing, pushing down a, a ladder in each drop, which you don't have to worry about lava because the ladder will stop the lava from falling down on you. So that's not that makes things really easy. Or you can do the one thing you're not supposed to do in Minecraft and live dangerous, and that is dig straight down, being all like, "Woo, yeah, we're digging straight down," because you know we're crazy like that. And I'm going to do this just because why not? And then I'm going to do this because baddies are a thing that we do not want to fall in in the hole while we're in the hole. Okay, let's eat something. Let's drink our fire resistance potion. Let's drink our night vision potion. I know I'm overdoing this, but you know what? I like to do this type of stuff. It's fun. And you know, we could really get rid of the light source if we got night vision. Okay. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Here we go. Here we go. I think we're in the dirt. Let's go. Straight down. Oh. I've never done this. It's like being dangerous and taboo and all that stuff. This may take a little while. And there we go. Oh, whoo. And there we go. Bringing home the beacon. <laughs> wow. We did it, y'all. That didn't take long at all. Matter of fact, if you look, we, we did not need our stuff. Look, that didn't even last but a few minutes. <laughs> it's like it literally took just a minute to dig down here. That's awesome. Okay, let's turn it on. So now to turn it on. One metal ingot, we're going to select haste, and we're going to click ink. Now, what this has done is you just see up in the right hand corner, we have a little thing pops up. When we come over here, we have haste for 10 seconds, and it counts down. And as long as we're within range, we have basically, well, well, it's, it's I guess it's what the pick, I don't know. We basically have super mining, like we can, we can almost one hit. But not yet. We need to make this thing bigger to do that. And to do that, and do that, do that, uh, <laughs> we're going to dig out around these here. So I think uh, this biggest irritation about digging down in holes that you've already dug into is they're just they're holes. All right, let's dig out around this a little bit. You know, I really don't see much of a speed increase. I'm not going to lie. My pick is already super fast. We're going to have to get that up. All right, so now we need to dig down. Uh, you know what? Let's make this look somewhat clean. Let's match it all up. Let's dig around like so. Okay, that's all nice and neat. Okay, let's jump. Let's collect that. Now, basically, we're going to dig down four levels. And as we do this, we're going to lay down 
iron blocks. Uh, show y'all a real quick trick on how to. Oh, I don't have any with me, do I? Uh, where's the torch at? Yeah, right there. Well, let's, let's get rid of this. Let's place this. Show y'all a real fast trick to get rid of uh, things like sand and gravel real quick. Take a torch and dig with the torch. And if you... There you go. Well, I hit it. Basically, the idea is if I can pull it off. Which I apparently can't. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. That was. Anyways, that you get the gist. All right, let's dig this thing out. Let's let's stop getting distracted. Oh. All right. Now you're going to need to dig down quite uh, four blocks, but you're also going to need to dig out a whole lot, and that is uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think nine blocks, I believe, is what I'm looking at here. So from here, we're going to need let's see, two, three, yeah, all right, all right, yeah, two, three. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine. So we're basically going to be building a square this direction. So, no, that's too many because that's from that. So one, two, three, four to here, right? I believe. Let's mark that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine so okay and then right here and i might be wrong on these numbers but that's why we're going to build it together real quick and we need to go this way now uh, so All right, so four out all the way around. Okay, we got the area cleared out. Now I went ahead and filled in the, the shape of the top one all the way down to the bottom. Now to make this the full size, we're basically going to do this all the way around. Just one layer at a time working down. And then we're going to come out and then one layer. Always going out one more. Next stack. And make sure you cap it off at the end there. Cap it off. Just like that. Now we're going to have to mount another layer because I can't see underneath this thing. And it looks like we might have not. Yeah, we went out exactly as far as we need to. Okay, we're good. So yeah, it's four from the center pillar in each direction. Uh, we don't need that thing anymore. Okay, so now you basically cap it. Just like that. Next one. Now this should be our last stack we should need. Okay. And. That is a full powered single beacon. Uh, pyramid. Now, I say single beacon. And the reason I say that is because we can, in fact, extend this to six beacons. And, uh, 
I won't show you that here, but we will hop over to my creative world here in just a minute, and I will show you how you do that. But right now, let's go here. And as you can see, we are all the way full up. We have got this fully done. Now we could pick any one of these we wanted, and we have the option over here to activate a second power. Now what this basically does is this either lets us get regeneration, or say, okay, we want haste. So we can either get haste and regeneration, or I can get haste one and then take this and get haste two, just like that, which let's let it fall into effect. As you can see, I think even, I think even by hand, Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it's going a little bit faster. We are now just obliterating like it is. As you can see, it's it's like mining dirt with the shovel. It, it goes so fast now. And basically, this will go all the way up to where the pillar ends at. So, yeah. This is now going to be much faster to farm out. I can just basically... Well, other than the fact that, you know, there's holes everywhere, but, you know, whatever. That's fine. And without just being worried about lava, that's just... We have hit a hole. We hit a... We hit a... Yep, right there. Invisible stone. There we go. But there we go. That is fully at... That is how you make... Uh... Uh, I need to... I need to... Brain fart, because I need to get out of the hole. I'm in the hole. I'm in the hole. I'm in the hole. I'm in the hole. Okay. Wait, what? See, we just deactivated it. We made a boo-boo. Don't do that. We may have to turn it back on now. Yep. There we go. Haste 2. I think we're going to go ahead and just attempt to activate it again. Now, is that not easy or what? You just build four tall, and then you just build down. And then that way, you know, it just, I, I think it's built easier building down. I mean, you know, whatever. And as you can see, it took two full stacks and... A little over half of a stack of solid blocks to build. Now, we're going to hop over to the creative world and look at how to make this a big version of itself. The super beacon. Okay, now over here at this, this one, which I have lovingly built out of glorious, glorious diamond because we could. And like I said, the four blocks you can use, diamond, gold, emerald, or iron. And since we're here, we're going to be using the expensive stuff. <laughs> So let's hop at this. See, this is what we basically built, but out of diamond. It's the exact same thing. Now, to make this the super version, all you're going to do is come up here to the top and pick a corner and put down just like this. You're going to basically cover one side of it now. What you look, and you see all it done is basically offset. So we're going to come down, come over here, and then starting at the end of the roll down below, just going to do this. All the way around again and this is basically going to uh, cause us to make a slightly larger pyramid by one row and then we'll be able to add once we get down here now we just need to add the final row Oop, don't forget to fill in your end there Just like that. Now this will let us go up here. And now we see we have two spots up here in the center. We actually have four. But uh, that one will activate. And if we go in here, we can see it's got the full thing. So we can do this. And we're going to do speed with this one. Oh, no. Okay, let's go to... Let's do haste with this one. Boop. Okay. So now... Habit. Now we have two now to extend this one more this one's a little bit different it's not tricky it just it it's it's a little bit of a different process okay so what we're going to do is you're going to come to the end here and you're just going to put a row of uh did i do that right now i didn't i did something wrong okay there we go we're gonna put one row along the end and then we're going to come down and we're going to put another row just like so I'm going to follow it all the way down to the bottom, which we're going to basically just fill in just like that. And now you will have one that is five by four. Now what this does is this will let you put beacon there, beacon there, beacon there, and a beacon 
there and you've just created the ultimate uh beacon so let's see there's the one with let's see this one has got okay let's just reset this let's do speed we'll go one at a time through them all bam let's do haste bam let's do the resistance oh well we hit the wrong thing resistance pink then we'll do jump boost jump boost pink and then strength boom and now this last one you can pick whatever you want to over here wait what oh it's the one we had already said speed i was like what what you can put whatever you want over here uh they're not going to stack any higher i do not believe so and now if we look here we have jump boost two speed two strength two resistance two regeneration and haste two which means we have all of the benefits of being able to use everything this thing offers and that is how you build the super beacon onto a regular beacon easy peasy no hard the hardest part is just getting the neither stars I had a lot of fun doing this one, y'all. This is something that I have been building up for a long time. I'm super excited. This is basically us coming to almost the end of the, the conclusion of no longer being a noob. So if you enjoyed today's episode, smack that thumbs up button. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you have any questions, just your tips. If there's anything you will see, if you just want to say hi, share see what others find these. Helps them out. Helps me out. And it's an amazing thing to do. Look at that beautiful sunset. And remember, y'all, stay safe. Have fun. Game on.